on tap, 90 minute Imperial IPA. Hi, I'm James Knott. Today we are talking about 90 minute Imperial IPA from the Dogfish Head Craft Brewery in Delaware. It was released in 2001 and has been reviewed more than any other beer on beeradvocate.com. This Imperial IPA, also called Double IPA, is 9% ABV, 90 IBUs, and the brewery recommends drinking it out of a snifter. The la -dee da They suggest that there are flavors like brandied fruitcake, raisin, and citrus. Dogfish Head uses a process called continual hopping, in which they add hops to the boil continuously for 90 minutes, hence the name. In 2003, Dogfish Head released two sister beers called 60 Minute and 120 Minute IPA. The 60 and 90 are both year-round releases, while the 120 Minute IPA is only brewed three times per year. Adam, tell me about the flavor of this beer. Uh, it's definitely a hoppy beer. Uh, there, there's definitely a, a, a fruity tone to it. I get a taste of citrus and some tart cherries. It's lightly piney, and then it lingers on the back end. Uh, this beer is so juicy. Bingo. Joey, tell us about the aroma on this one. You know, James, when I first, you know, put this glass up to the nose and, and smelled it, it's got that floral scent to it. It's, you know, for a non-IPA lover, it's not a, a great smell for me. I don't think I'm going to like this beer. Okay. <laughs> Scott, uh, how does the, the hot bitterness of the 90 compare to the hot bitterness of the 60? I mean, can you make that comparison? Yeah, I can. Uh, the 90 minute, for some reason, it, I mean, it doesn't seem as hoppy. It clearly has a lot of hops. I mean, from the smell, the flavor, it just, I mean, it's overall, the beer itself is just amazingly mixed. I mean, it has so many piney overtones and undertones. I mean, amazing beer, but the 60 minute, for some reason, comes off as much more bitter. You would think it actually had a higher alcohol content than this beer, honestly, but uh, quite obviously 90 minute has 9% and 60 has six. Adam, where are you at on this beer? What's sticking out for you? You know, the, the, this is, uh, along with what Scott was saying, it's smoother than the 60 minute IPA. I, I, it's definitely, it's, it, it has some masking of the alcohol flavor to it. Uh, it's got a great bang for the buck because it's a high alcohol content, so it's 9%. Uh, it, it's very good flavor to it, uh, but I give it an 8. Joby, our regular viewers know you as a person who is not a big fan of the hops, so why do you hate this beer? Well, James, you know, starting out, you smell the beer, see what it's all about. Like I said earlier, it's got that floral scent to it, so again, I, I go back to all the other IPAs that I've had, and it's, you know... It's gonna have that aftertaste. It's gonna, you know, taste like perfume in my mouth after I drink it. So, I drink the beer, and I liked it. Do, do you drink a lot of perfume though? I don't, but oh, okay. it's got that floral, perfumey taste. That's how I describe IPAs. Okay. But this beer, I actually like. You know, this is probably the best IPA that I've had. The floral scent, when you smell it, doesn't come across when you drink it. What would you rate this versus other IPAs, then, if you had to rate it? I mean, strictly IPAs, nothing else, no other beers in the mix. I'd yeah. probably rate it, you know, the best IPA I had, probably a, a 10 or something. However, you know, for this show, and you have to throw all the other beers in the mix, I'm going to drop it down to an 8. So uh, you, you feel like the malt balances the hops very well. I do. I do. And, and you know, just the other week, I had some, some buddies over, and I made them try this beer that they're, they're not, you know, hoppy beer lovers. And, you know, they agreed with me. They, they said this is smooth and it's a really uh, well-balanced beer. So overall, again, I, I rate it an eight and it's pretty... Uh, pretty Joby, I'm, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> You're a true beer drinker now. I want to go You've that grown far. grown up. I want to go that far. So, well, that's what I was going to ask is what percentage of this is like you being more accustomed to like hoppier beers and or is it just this beer is that good? Well... Some you know, combination? Yeah, I, I think it's a little combination of both because I think my palate is developing. But however, you know, now when I try IPAs, there's some that are still very off-putting because it's got that aftertaste that lingers in your mouth for a while. However, this one is smooth and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't finish with the flour aftertaste, if you will. So what you're saying is you like the beer? Yeah, okay. I, li I like the beer. 
Okay. All right, Scott. So now we have an eight, we have an eight, and what do we have? 10. A 10. A 10 is pretty good. That means like, that's pretty in your good. top it five. It is, it's, it's somewhere around a nine. Top five beers? It is. Okay, and what makes it so good? Uh, the beer is amazing. It, uh, oh, we were talking about 60 Minute IPA earlier. It honestly is probably one of my top beers as well. Not top five, but you know, top 25, top 20, uh, 26, somewhere around 25. Uh, but this beer just masks the alcohol, but has this amazing flavor and aroma as well. I mean, the piney, citrus, hoppiness, I mean, it, but it's not overwhelming hops. I mean, it's, it's really strange because if you put them side by side, and I've done this before with 16, 90 minute IPA, you would never guess that this is the higher alcohol content beer. 90 minute IPA gets an 8.7 on the BBA scale. Which do you prefer, 60, 90, or 120 minute IPA? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm Jaime Nott. Adios. Better beer